Fallout 76. Oh my gosh. I am so excited. I was hoping that we were going to see a portal to the Switch um, or something, you know, just something that was a rework basically, which I would have been super excited about. But apparently we're getting a whole new game, which is really exciting to me. Um, and I'm just like everybody else out there, I can't get enough information. I think it's hysterical that Bethesda was able to troll like a million people online with their cue to see the same trailer that you could see anywhere else. Uh, but there's a lot of energy and excitement going on in the Fallout universe, which is very well deserved. And if you're not a video game person, shame on you, you should be playing Fallout anyway. There, there's a lot to love about Fallout, and I'm kind of um, one of those video game people that, you know, I like the classic stuff like Nintendo and everything like that. I've really never gotten into a role-playing type game before, but there was something about Fallout when it first came out, and I think it was the damn dog. And my buddy Cooper and I were all tagging this video. Chris and I went to a uh, college conference where we did a paper on dog meat and the role of basically dogs in video games and why that's so damn popular and sucks people in. And that's still my favorite part about Fallout is playing with a damn dog. You know, just making sure that you have the same interaction I have in my regular life in the Fallout universe. But all of a sudden, I'm spending all my time, extra time with Fallout, kind of playing it and doing different things and messing around with characters in a way that I haven't done before. And now we've got Bethesda's announcement, which I'm super excited about and I hope you are too. But I was talking on the phone today and, you know, everybody's watching this trailer, trying to get all the information from it. And we could all be wrong. Like, nobody has any idea unless you work there. But I thought I would share my thoughts on Fallout 76 because I hadn't seen this put out anywhere. I did see it briefly mentioned on a Reddit uh, thread, which I will tag. I'm not a huge Reddit person, although I think it's got a lot of value. But this clicked organically for me on the phone with my buddy. And as we're watching this trailer, which I'll, I'll link to and include screenshots and different things like that, and I'll give credit where credit is due. But as we're watching this trailer, you know, everybody's trying to analyze what's going on in the background, where is it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And the biggest clue for me was the music. And again, I don't know if I'm right or not. I'm just telling you my thoughts. But listening to "Country Roads Take Me Home, West Virginia," it, it was just pretty amazing. It, you know, a song my husband really likes, and he's from West Virginia, and neat. But we're trying to speculate where it's at. It's like, oh, Fallout, West Virginia, blah, blah, blah. Everybody's going into that, and they're like, well, you know, is it the D.C. area? Because they're looking at the map and everything. Well, D.C. is not really commutable from West Virginia. Well, actually, it is. Uh, Charleston area is very commutable from Northern Virginia, D.C. area, because most people are willing to drive like two hours and not have to pay a bunch of money. But if we think about West Virginia's relationship to D.C., and why is D.C. so important? Well, obviously, it's Fallout 3 and where the universe is set. If we think about that relationship and how we're staying, I don't want to call it canon and get all Star Wars on everybody, but if, if we want to call it canon, how we're staying kind of true to the theme, if we think about some of the things that we're seeing and the concept of West Virginia and D.C., the thing that instantly came to mind for me after multiple rewatches of this video while I was on the phone was, oh my God, this is the Greenbrier Hotel in West Virginia. This is the Greenbrier Hotel. I mean, this is exactly what it is. And I'll tag Greenbrier in this. If you don't know what the Greenbrier Hotel is and you're playing Fallout, I don't know which fault you've been living in, but you're totally missing out. So for those of you that don't know, and again, I'm going to tag and I've got their, their website pulled up. I'm going to tag their website because they don't get enough credit. Uh, the construction of the Greenbrier Bunker, which is in this super posh, swanky hotel in West Virginia, is actually the entire hotel was a cover for this bunker, which was a fallout shelter. So it began construction in 1958. It's 112,050. 554 square feet. That is freaking huge. Anyway, it's a bunker that was constructed into the side of this mountain and under the hotel in Greenbrier, West Virginia. Well, why is there a bunker? Well, of course, people were building fallout shelters everywhere because they were worried about what was going to happen. But this specific bunker was a secret project and it was a space that was maintained it was kept up. There's actually a staff that was assigned to it until it was decommissioned, which was it was decommissioned during my lifetime. So it was maintained so that in the event of nuclear war, there would be a safe place to move the United States government to so it could continue to operate. When I say safe place, it really is a vault when we think about it iPad here. And again, please like go check this out. This is all on the Greenbrier website. They're an amazing hotel and everybody should go on this tour. It's not very expensive, but it's something you should do, especially if you're traveling to our nation's capital. So basically it was built during the Eisenhower era. 
Um, it was completed in 1961, and there was all kinds of things in there. So there were dormitories, pharmacy, uh, you know, commissary, things like that. When I went on the tour, you were seeing offices and like gym space and ICU, but you also saw the chambers for Congress, decontamination chambers, different things like that, things we already see in world, in Fallout, in the game. So it's not a stretch for us to imagine the vault, which appears in that trailer, and it's, I hate to say, standard form, but the infrastructure is very much something that we're familiar with in the gameplay. It's not a stretch for us to see that. And so the interesting thing is, the Greenbrier Vault existed for 30 years as an active facility where it was maintained just in case crap went down, and it was critical to you know, the survival of our government if something happened. Well, unfortunately, on May 31st, which would have been, you know, a long time ago yesterday, in 1992, the Washington Post, and I'll see if I can find that article and link to it, they published an article which exposed the facility. It exposed the secret facility of where our government was supposed to go in the event of nuclear war. And I'm sure I'm going to get a bunch of comments about, oh my God, how could they do that? And, you know, they should have exposed it. That's journalism at its best. Here, here's the thing. You know, I, I don't get into the conspiracy theories on government. I know that there are sections of government that's corrupt and that I'll never understand. But I personally would not have been happy about this because it's like, if crap goes down, I would hope there's a secret location everything can go to. And I'm okay with not knowing that. But that's just me. Uh, as a direct result of this, the government was scrambling and they ended up decommissioning the entire bunker project over this under this hotel. Um, and the bunker ended the lease agreement with the Greenbrier Hotel in 1995. I was born in 81, so in 1995, I've been 14 years old. Uh, today, you can go on a tour of it. I have not been there in a long time. Uh, it was a long, oh gosh, probably 10 years ago when I went. Uh, but when I did go, I remember on the tour, so, and again, I'll include photos, and please, Go to the Greenbrier website. All of this stuff is on there. It's readily accessible. And as are photos, you can rent some of the facility. If you want to have a cool wedding, I highly recommend a bunker wedding to you. And I will come down and actually plan it for you because that just sounds really cool. Um, so when I went on this tour, you're going through the hotel. And the whole hotel is designed in this very, like, over the top, think like Lily Pulitzer on 1950s pinup style. So like really big colors and patterns and things, uh, but by this interior designer and they really have not updated the style. They've updated things at the facility, but not the style, the carpet style, the wallpaper style. It's very uh, period for when it was designed. So you go through this hotel and everything is very big and bold and everything. And you go into the, what they call the exhibition hall area, which is truly an exhibition hall at the Greenbrier Hotel. As you can imagine, you know, it's a big property, high-end property. Um, you know, you're gonna have some conventions and different things there, so you need that space. And as we're on the tour, you can't, I mean, it's just a wall in front of me. And I'm standing there and I know we're going on a bunker tour, like this is not secret. So I know we're going under sta the stairs and, and going down and everything and, and going under the building to the secret congressional chambers and the vault that would have held everybody in the case of there being fallout. And all of a sudden the woman moves the wall and you can see the line open up and there's the doorway, which you could not see because the pattern of the wallpaper was specifically designed to hide that secret door from opening. And then, of course, we went on the tour and, and saw everything that was under there, and there are plenty of other YouTube videos and documentaries, and that's actually where I first heard about it was a History Channel documentary, like back when I was in high school or something, um, because obviously it was decommissioned back then. But so this is my theory, my long rambling video also that nobody's going to watch, is that if we look at the Fallout 76 trailer and we think about the Fallout universe with three being set in Washington, D.C., and why that's specific and everything. If we think about the year and the vault number 76, which it's not a stretch to say that vault 76 is patriotic. Is that the word that I want to use? I don't know, but we see that poster on the wall with um, the Uncle Sam vault boy image on it. 76 is used. There's definitely this feeling of it being a patriotic vault. Um, is it patriotic to the Commonwealth? Is it patriotic to the United States? I don't really know because we haven't seen the rest of the game yet, but there's this feel of it being patriotic. The number 76 is obviously indicative and culturally relevant to the independence of this country. Um, and 76 being something that would be associated with government or being associated with historical significance. So, you know, those are clues that I pick up. And then again, when I see or hear the country roads, West Virginia, take me home. For me, 
I and seeing the Washington DC map, I really and truly get this feeling that the storyline that we're going to be given, maybe not a hundred percent, but in some capacity, is going to relate to this bunker that was specifically designed for Congress to be moved to in the event of nuclear fallout. Or at least that's my hope, because I think that would be a very interesting gameplay, even if it was taken from a staff member. So could you imagine being like one of these staff members that was keeping the vault up and running so it would be available, and then you know stuff happens, and let's say Congress doesn't even show up, and you're just there and stuck in the vault. So that would be interesting to me to see the government side of things would be interesting to me. A lot of different stuff, you know, would be interesting to me. And I could be 100% off. We could all be wrong. It could just be a really cool John Denver cover that we're listening to and, you know, has nothing to do with anything that I've just talked about. But that is my take on what's going on in Fallout 76. I am really looking forward to hearing the rest of the story. If you haven't been online, they are saying that they're going to have a behind-the-scenes documentary coming out soon. We've obviously got the announcement on the 10th of June coming out. So there's a lot of things going on, but uh, I would love to read your comments on what you think. Um, please watch some of the videos and different things like that that I'll link to if you've not heard of uh, the bunker under the Greenbrier Hotel. And uh, let me know what you think. I'm, I'm super curious and uh, want to know if I am like just out there on a limb or if you guys can see that too if you don't know what the bunker is again you know you might have a little bit of a, a catch-up game to do before you can start putting some time into it but uh hopefully most people know what it is it's a really important part of our history and uh, again shout out to Greenbrier. uh they call it america's resort if you have not been to their website go check it out so you can learn about the bunker from the people that you know have the hotel above it and, uh, you know, hit them up if you're in the driving area or flying into D.C. or Washington or, you know, West Virginia. Please, please, please go and go on the bunker tour. It is totally worth it. Uh, I don't know if it's changed, but when I went through, you couldn't take your cell phone through, which didn't matter anyway, because your phone's not going to work underground. But um, that was a surprise to me. I had to go put it back in the hotel room. Anyway, I'm rambling, so I'm going to be done. But give me a comment if you like the video give me a thumbs up too. Uh, please share. That's probably the best thing. Like that's the best part of Fallout and, and talking about Fallout and all these video blogs from people that I love watching is having that conversation. So if you like it, share it. This is highly out of character for me, but I am so excited about 76. Yay, more dog meat, I hope. I saw the dog dish there. He better be in there. I want to give him a big hug. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.